Today I've got five basketball drills for kids to help them improve pretty much top to bottom their game on offense. Their ball handling, their passing, their shooting, their layups, all that. And it's going to really help them a ton. They don't need really anything other than a hoop and a little bit of space to work with. No equipment required whatsoever. So the first drill is really, really simple. All these are going to be really simple. So it's something that they can put into their game quickly and improve. And it's going to get their fundamentals down pat. So the first thing we're going to do is you don't necessarily need lines on the court, but a good marker would be from about the top of the key to the free throw line, about that distance. If you have cones or chalk, you could draw it or just give them an imaginary line to look for. And all you're going to do is have them dribble, come and touch down there. So we're working on getting them low. Okay. So they're going to try to get there quick, get low, touch that line, retreat back. So we're going to keep our body from here positioned this way. So now if I have a defender, I'm protecting the basketball. Good habit for kids to get into, right? Also good to get them low and working on this change of direction. From there, all they're going to do is get back to this point, square back up, cross over, and then come here and do the same thing. Touch, retreat back, cross over, touch, retreat, come back. Great drill they can work on to get that change of direction, getting an active offhand, getting low, and a bunch more, and of course, getting that crossover off. Something that I recommend pretty much every kid does. So this video is actually gonna have one more ball handling drill, but I had a video that is getting tons of views. Coaches are loving it. It's got a little bit of equipment, some cones. I'll have it linked in the comment that's gonna be pinned down below, and I'll also have that in the description for you. But those six drills are perfect for helping kids take their handles next level really, really quickly and develop some good habits. Next drill is to work on their shooting and get a good solid form and then gradually increase the range. And it's a challenge, it's a game, it's something that'll be fun, so they'll wanna do it. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna start right next to the hoop have them shoot the basketball, and if they hit rim, that doesn't count. We want to try to get them to get nothing but net. If they get it, nothing but net. Have them just get the rebound back to the spot they were in, take one step back, square back up, and then repeat. Trying to go as far as they can. That would not have counted, because it was not nothing but net. And they can continue to work their way out, see how many they can get in a row, see how far they can get, and they can come back and tell you every time, dad, mom, coach, I got to this point, nothing but net, right? Simple way to challenge yourself. And if they miss or they hit rim, you start back in, right? So they're getting that form back down every single time. Drill numero three, get their layups down. And this is gonna be kind of similar to the last one. So we're gonna start pretty close to the basket. One dribble, one, two steps, boom. Nice and close, nice and easy so they can get that layup down, get the feel for it, get the mechanics down. That way they don't have to feel pressured about going full speed, full dribble, trying to gather the basketball, eyes on the rim, all that stuff. That's a lot for someone when they're getting started, right? Even just coming here, taking one dribble real close, that might be a good spot for them to start, okay? And then when they make that one, we don't have to go nothing but net on these. We can work on just coming back one more step. Dribble, one, two, keep that layup off. Okay, I'm good there. Last time I was here, so now I'm gonna come back here, right? And every time they can work their way out even further until they get to about the three-point line. Then from there, when they get to the three-point line, one thing they can do is work on just spinning the ball out, catching it, and then going two steps into it so they can get down, making layups off the catch like they're going to need to in game situations if they're cutting through the basket and a teammate passes it to them. They'll be ready for that sort of a situation. Drill number four is to work on their passing. And like I promised, you don't need any equipment for this necessarily. I'm going to give you options depending on if you do have something to work with. Because it is hard for a kid to work on their passing all by themselves, right? So, first option is to work on just doing chest passes off the backboard to themselves if you got a hoop to work with, right? And if they're a younger player, just going for the bottom of the backboard should be good for them, right? If they can make a layup, they should be able to get the basketball there to pass it back to themselves and just repping that out. And they could play around with maybe doing more baseball style passes, maybe doing more overhead two-hand passes, right? Mixing things up that way. Simple way you can drill it out at home. Of course, if you've got a wall to work with, that's ideal, right? Then you can just pass it off the wall. You can do your bounce passes, uh, your chest passes, your baseball passes, your overhead passes. All those passes are great. And if they're a little more advanced, they can even do a behind the back pass, right? Pretty simple stuff. Um, to take it next level for both of these, pick a spot. I'm gonna aim for this brick or this intersection to get really pinpoint, right? Stepping out further is gonna help them work on their ability to get more power onto those passes and really improve that accuracy. And then coming closer, we'll work on their speed of being able to catch the basketball quick. So working on that catching element, something that often gets overlooked with player skills. If you're using the backboard, 
you could say, I want to aim for, you know, a certain spot. I'm going to pick a little speck or a mark or maybe draw something on it. And I want to try to hit that, right? I want to try to hit that little foam part every single time, right? So you could pick a spot out. Now, if you don't have either of those as an option, here's one other one, but it's great for conditioning. You don't need anything. It's going to be a little bit more challenging though. All they're going to do is bounce pass it to an imaginary teammate who's actually going to be themselves. They're going to run, come get it. Bounce pass, run, come get it. Okay, so that's going to really work on their conditioning and their change of direction. Obviously, they don't want to put too much force into it or they're probably just going to be chasing the basketball all the way down the street. This next drill is going to really help players with protecting the basketball while still moving forward, not having to worry about the ball getting stolen nearly as much, and also develop their ability to see the whole court while their body is sideways and getting the basics of the spin move down because a lot of players when they're trying to learn the spin move they kind of mess it up a little bit with their hand switch. This will make it so it's a little bit more of a habit to do things the right way so when they try to learn the full spin move it'll be a lot easier. And also one thing I would recommend with this is getting the behind the back dribble down is really important so that video that I mentioned earlier that's pinned to the top comment and in the description that's going to really help them get that side of things down and just their handles in general so you'll probably want to check that video out. But this drill, all we're going to do is have them start sideways. So we're pretending there's a defender here and we want the off arm here and we're just dribbling. We're going to pull the ball back. So like a spin move, but not quite a full spin. And we're going to switch hands and then we're going to be here. Same position, just opposite, right? Pull the ball back here. Pull the ball back here. And just work their way up the court or whatever they got. Sidewalk, driveway. You can do this in the basement without even really moving forward, right? All in one spot. Just to get your head turned around quick. That's the big thing we want to have them focus on is that they're turning that head and getting their vision back forward here so they're here and they can see everything not here where they can only see here and here. I want to be able to see everything over here so I got to get my head turned, right? So that's the big key tip they'll want to pay attention to when doing that drill. Now if you want some drills that are going to really help kids improve their ball handling, check out that link that's pinned to the top comments and in the description that's going to help them a ton. If this video helped, click the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon, and I will see you in that video next.